In today's video, I'm gonna try to survive 100 days in the Atlantic Ocean. I have three objectives. First, create a stage three pirate ship. Second, eliminate Chomp the protector of the Atlantic Sea. And finally, defeat Blackbeard, the ruler of the Northern Atlantic. Can I survive? Stay tuned to find out. Arr, matey. Oh no, the skies are indicating a massive storm is on its way. Raise the sails, it's too much, we're gonna go down. Our ship isn't gonna make it. The storm is pulling me up. Ah! Oh man, where'd that hurricane come from? Where even am I? This is just great, man. I'm lost in the middle of the ocean. What am I gonna do? Wait, what is that? It seems like this hurricane has destroyed a lot of things and it's all flowing towards me through this current. Okay, there's a sword here. We definitely are gonna need this in case any creatures try to hunt us down. I also found some saplings and a potato to make a farm. After fishing the entire day, we went ahead and made a chest and deposited all our materials in there. We spent all of day two expanding our rafts, gathering cobblestone, and making a basic tree farm. On day three, I started off by essentially salvaging our entire tree farm, gathering all the wood. Then I gathered the wood, expanded our raft a little bit more, and created an area to make our tree farms. We then placed all of our saplings, and then used bone meal to grow them. To finish off our productive day, we created a farm. We set sail for the next three days in hopes to find something. In the distance, I saw a little structure, and when getting closer, I saw a massive island. There was a dock with another boat here. Could someone else be here? We spent the next couple days scavenging the island, and we found this little cobblestone pathway that led up this hill. At the top of the hill, I found a log cabin. Not knowing what was inside, we looked around and slowly creeped in. It looked like this was some sort of abandoned log cabin. There was a chest in the corner with cobwebs and vines. There was a ladder leading upstairs, and it looks like an overgrown tree was in the way of whatever was there. After clearing everything out, it looks like it was just an empty place. There wasn't really too much to be found here. As I kept running around this island, I found this underpass, which looked really cool. So we took our boat through it and ended up finding some weird cave. When we entered, we got greeted by a creeper and two zombies. Nothing too crazy. I took out the skeleton and looked to my right and I was getting chased by what looked to be two little goblins. This must be some sort of weird goblin cave. It looks like they're different type of goblins. One seems to be a melee and one seems to be some sort of archer. As I descended into this cave eliminating this zombie, I looked farther down and saw some sort of shaman. I charged right at him and as soon as I hit him, I got poisoned and he put a nausea effect on me. And when I looked back at him, he disappeared. I honestly didn't really know what to do in this situation. I was fighting a shaman that poisons you, launches missiles at you, and goes invisible. I figured it was probably a good idea to get the heck out of here. Before leaving, we gathered some materials such as coal and iron. After getting jumped by the shaman once again, we figured it was time we leave this cave before we push our luck. After leaving the cave, we realized it was night and spent the rest of the night in a hole. I guess we could use this time to comment hashtag forest is bald. Anyways, after an eternity, we mined out and it was finally daytime. While we were on our way back to the dock in the distance, we saw somebody swimming in the ocean. Hey, who are you? Oh my gosh, I'm Peter and I've been lost for weeks now. I'm Peter and I've been lost at sea for weeks. Please help me, I'm Peter. I think it's it's safe to say that Peter isn't really a threat, although I do think he may have bumped his head a couple of times. We then set sail for the rest of day 11, arriving back at our base in the evening, and we got greeted by a creeper and almost died. Well, we didn't want to risk anything, so I went ahead and placed torches around. I then went ahead and made both of us some beds, then just went to sleep for the night. And then in the morning when I woke up, I realized that a lot of my farms had seemed to be grieved, and I was even missing one of my chests. Where did Peter go and why would he do this to me? As I was replacing the farm, a sign came up on my screen saying, Welcome to the Stone Age. And as I looked around, I realized that there was a whole bunch of different loot floating. Could this be a better loot pool? Anyways, I saw some random wolf in the water drowning, so I let it up, saving it. I fished out a bone and tamed it. I wonder what I should name him. I'm gonna go with Jadonquius. Next up, we gathered our iron that we got from the cave and created ourselves full iron armor. We said goodbye to Jadonquius and we set sail for the next three days exploring. We ended up seeing something in the water, so I immediately broke my ship and swam directly down. It looked like whatever this was, it was surrounded by jellyfish. When I got closer, I got hit by something, and when I went in, it was a shark. I was also wondering why I was able to breathe under the water, and it turns out they used this conduit, which was used to power this blimp. 
And at the bottom, there was a chest containing some gold and some wood. We spent the next couple of days heading back to base. Once we arrived back at base, we said hello to Jadonquius once again, and then crafted a giant crafting table. After placing the giant crafting table, we farmed a crap ton of trees, replanted them all, and then started making reinforced wood, which is used to make our sailboat. We then sheared all of our sheep, and then created some ship sails. We then put all our supplies in, and crafted a tier 1 sailboat. As soon as we placed it down, it started building the boat, and I got stuck in the wall almost dying. Anyways, we walked up the ladder, and look at this. We have our very own sail. Boat. Anyways, then we went to bed for the rest of the night. For the next few days, we sat out on our boat and we found ourselves some little island, which looks to be some sort of tree house on it. As we got closer, I noticed there was a boat here. And when I walked up the stairs, it said, I Peter, much Peter. Okay, I think it's safe to say Peter has been here. This could potentially be his house. When I made it to the top, I opened the chest and he just had some apples and cake. And in the second chest, he just had some potatoes. I then proceeded to grief the rest of the base and take the supplies for myself, since Peter took all of mine, of course. And while I was up in the tree house, looting Peter's base, he must have been hiding in the forest. He jumped and destroyed my boat and then took his boat and sailed away. So of course, after looting his base, I went back down to get into my boat and there I see Peter. He's gone. He's gone with my boat and I don't even have a boat to chase him. And while we were stranded on the island, Peter, on the other hand, traveled to this mysterious ship known as the Black Pearl. Grabbing a hold of the vines and climbing up the ship, encountering Blackbeard. Here's your stuff, Captain. I'm, I'm Peter, by the way. How dare you? Think this is enough? I'm not too sure why this Peter guy took all my loot to begin with. Hopefully everything's okay with him. Anyways, after a few days of traveling, we made it back to our base. Oh, and we said hello to Jadonquius. How's it going, buddy? For the next couple days, we went out exploring the surrounding area, running into some weird-looking cruise ship. As soon as we got close, this pirate swan tom bombed into the water, diving down with his buddy, and we jumped in right after him. Gosh, how happy am I to have a diamond axe here? It's really helping me shred through these pirates. Anyways, after eliminating the pirates, we walked up and boarded the ship. We noticed that there was a downstairs, and we went down, and it was filled with a bunch of pirate bandits. They seem to do a lot more damage when there's about 10 of them attacking you at the same time. Since we started to get really low, we went ahead and started eating our food to regenerate our health, and we continued the attack. A short while later, we eliminated the last undead pirate, looting a chest, finding some golden apples, and this special iron sword, which if you shift left click, it teleports you known as the blink ability. I looked at my boat and did it and it launched me in the water. Anyways, now it was time to head back to the island. We made it to the island after a few days. We just came back to have one last look to see if there was anything else that we missed on this island. By the looks of it, we've seen everything. So while we were heading back to base, we spotted a big group of sea turtles. I thought this was pretty cool. As soon as we arrived back to base, it became the nether age. The nether age contains a completely different loot pool from the water, which is pretty sweet. We decided to fish for the remainder of the day, gathering soul sand and nether wart to create a nether wart farm. As you can see, by the end of the day, we got a pretty big farm, and we decided to spawn in a piglin, and it tried to kill me, so we had to take it down. I then sheared all my sheep, farmed my tree farm, and created my tier 2 brigadier. As soon as I placed it down, builds started going everywhere, my screen froze for a second, and then the entire ship appeared. I made a ladder to get to the top, and this thing is huge. As you can see when we look back, that thing is freaking insane. Anyways, we went to bed. When we woke up, we started by fishing some diamonds because we needed to make some more armor, and I saw a dolphin swimming with an egg. Anyways, we got some more blaze rods, that way we can brew some potions. I also found another wild wolf that was trapped in the water, so we let it up. And we're gonna name him Jorge. Anyways, the next step was to gather all of our supplies and materials and move it to our brand new ship. I decided to make a cool chest area, a place to grow our nether wart, and a furnace area up top. I then made two brewing stations, crafted up some brewing tables, placed them down, and also made a wheat farm. After setting up our entire ship, I decided to explore some more. After days of traveling, I finally found a sign of some more life. Arriving on the island, it looked like this was some sort of abandoned ship. I went into the basement and found a room. There was a poppy and cobwebs. After looting the ship, we decided to explore more of the island and found this really cool overpass. As I was going through the overpass, I found some sort of secret room. When I opened the chest, I found a netherite sword and a diamond helmet. And when I walked out, I heard, Hey, get back here! I immediately knew I was in trouble. I just invaded some random caveman's home. We gotta get out of here. I started to gain some distance from 
from him and I finally lost him. After days and days on sea, not even knowing where I'm going, I found an island. This island seemed kind of weird. There was two massive jungle parts and then just a massive pile of sand. I looked around the island and other than this overpass, I didn't really find anything else. So I headed back to my boat. As we got closer to our boat, a giant alligator appeared. We charged directly at it, and it knocked me back with its tail. After hitting it once, it picked me up in its mouth and hit me all the way back with its tail. Just after escaping his jaws of his mouth, we started doing quite a lot of damage to this thing. Chomp does a lot of damage. Oh my gosh, we had to eat a golden apple and throw down a health pot just to live. As we went to eat our apple, he launched us back with his tail. After getting our health back up, we charged back at Chomp, getting a couple more hits, eliminating Chomp the alligator. Chomp dropped eight alligator claws, which we'll use to make our armor. Before trying to find our way back to that island and then return home, we had to kill some animals. We needed some food. And we said our goodbyes to Chomp's Island. Not far from Chomp's Island, I found this base. As soon as I went to enter, I got greeted by two creepers, which actually didn't do any damage to me, but it kind of scared me a little bit. Anyways, we built up the top and found ourselves a zombie, there was a chest, and an enchantment table. So we used this as an opportunity to enchant some stuff. I used my levels enchanting, then traveled back to the island where the caveman was. I built something here that is going to be a big surprise. I took the overpass to go back to the caveman's house and he was there. Hey, you again! Get back here! At this moment, I knew it was a do or die situation. I turned around to get a hit on him and I missed and he hit me pretty hard. So I threw down a health potion and ran to my contraption that I built. I quickly ran inside all the way to the back, pressed the lever, and trapped him, eliminating the caveman. Now it was finally time to return home. I forgot how big this ship was. It feels good to be back. First thing I did was craft a diamond chest plate and noticed it was the special age. Since it's a special age, I'm going to be focused on fishing for books and an enchantment table. I ended up finding an enchantment table that was like really deep underwater for some reason. So I swam down and got it. After creating our little enchantment room, it was time to create our alligator armor. I also created the alligator's bane sword. We look pretty freaking awesome. On top of looking awesome, it's also pretty cool. If you shift left click, it launches you in the air. I then traveled around for the next five days in attempts to find a water temple, and I finally found one. Good thing I brewed some potions earlier. We got some water breathing and strength and speed. We went up to fight the elder guardian. This alligator armor prevents me from taking quite a lot of damage, and I accidentally used my blink ability, which which teleported me under the wall. So that was kind of weird. Anyways, we took this thing down. As we kept searching around, I found another Elder Guardian. After drinking my strength and speed, I realized there was two of them. Good thing we're actually in this alligator armor because it does so much damage and I actually don't take that much damage from these things. So we managed to take them down pretty easily. Wow, we destroyed that water temple pretty easily with this armor. While I was returning back to base, I got intercepted by what seemed to be another pirate ship. As I approached the pirate ship, I used my alligator sword to launch all the way up. I jumped down and saw there was quite a bit of goblins around here. It looks like there's another shaman and a bunch of goblins around here. As I was fighting these goblins for a little bit, some big thing spawned next to me and I literally one hit it with my alligator sword. How the heck did I just do that? Anyways, it dropped a chest containing gold and diamonds. After that interesting interception, we headed back to our base and crafted our tier 3 vessel ship. I made a little platform to place the ship and there was a creeper on here, so I gave it a smack and it kind of blew up a little bit of my platform. Not too big of a deal. Anyways, we threw down the vessel ship and we ran away and as you guys can see, the whole ship built and appeared right in front of me. As you can see, this vessel ship is no joke. This thing is literally bigger than the bald spot on Forrest's hairline. While we were gathering some more nether warts, the end game age happened. So I am immediately went out at night and gathered a crap ton of these ender pearls. I went to grab the books to enchant my armor and sword and realized I had lost them all, so I just had to settle for a sharpness one enchant. We traveled for the next four days to find the black pearl. After days of searching, an object rendered in and it seemed to be the black pearl. I didn't realize how big this ship was until I tried to ender pearl up and didn't even make it, so I had to use my leap ability with my sword. The cool thing about the leap ability is you don't actually take fall damage. As I turned around, I realized I was in a very bad situation. Not only did I have to fight tons of pirates, but Blackbeard was there. I'm not really sure what the heck was happening, but it randomly went daytime, and then I got launched in the air by a barrel. Seemed like I was fighting a never-ending wave of pirates. Every time I killed them, they just spawned more. As I eliminated most of the undead 
dead pirates. I go to fight the last one and he shoots me with a gun and more pirates just keep spawning. I get launched back by a barrel having to use my insta health. As Blackbeard comes into melee range, it allows us to do a lot of damage eliminating Blackbeard and his undead pirate crew. As you guys can see, his weapon's pretty cool. Mine now. Then I spent the next four days traveling back to our base, arriving back at our ship on day 100. Make sure you guys go watch Forrest's video. It's completely different than mine. And also, if you'd like to further support me, check out our Patreon, which is linked in the description. You'll gain exclusive access to our SMP server, video teasers, and much more. Anyways, thanks for watching.